What's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of, well, this is the first episode of a full movie reaction on the channel. I just call myself saying another episode because we've never done one of these before. But it is another episode of Mentally Gone, Gone Reacts. Reacts. Right. True. But yeah. this time, it's our first ever uh, time experiencing a full-length film and experiencing it on this channel with you guys. Uh, but we did do our first ever full movie watch through reaction. I don't know what it's called. And that just goes to show how new we are to this. But it was. Um, scream. The watching, first Scream. Yeah. Watching the first Scream on our Mentally Gone YouTube channel. Yes. The, yeah. Our, it was our main one. And now we've kind of branched out. And yeah. now each category has its own channel. And we recently reacted on this channel to Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Trailer. Trailer, yeah. And that just stirred something inside of us where we just need to watch the first one because a lot of people that we know, like a lot of our friends, talk about the first one um, into the Spider-Verse and say that it's one of the greatest uh, superhero movies of all time. Mm -hmm. And they hold it at this high regard. So we were like, all right, so we have to check this one out, see what it's all about. And here we are. So we're excited to actually jump in and just try it out yeah especially before the release of the next one because yeah. i actually want to watch that one you know having having watch base. well yeah you have to but i actually want to watch that one in theaters when it comes out yeah because just from the trailer alone with all of the different spider-man you know from mm -hmm. all the different universes and whatnot you it's know it's the multiverse of spidey madness yeah i can't wait to see that and and from what i've seen in the animation it's incredible and i've actually heard that the spider-man into the spider-verse took 140 like animator animation editors animators animators yeah animators damn 140 to uh, make this movie and it's the most in any sony pictures uh production production i think yeah wow. movie uh full disclosure i've played miles morales on the ps5 and that's my understanding of miles morales and it's very limited and i think it's limited to that game um in that game obviously miles morales is the uh second spider-man um, in the city of New York. So he is mentored by Peter Parker and then he kind of goes under his wing. But that's all I know about Miles, Mor Miles Morales is that game for the PS5, which I got a platinum trophy on, by the way. Yeah, I mean, I know a little bit from like comics, like shared villains and stuff. Like I yeah. know that there's like Peter Parker and Miles Morales, like, like you're saying against certain villains like Mysterio and stuff. I don't Rhino. know if that's in this movie, mm -hmm. but I'm excited to see. Yeah. Because so, just like from the illustrations and comics, it looks crazy. Yeah. So let's just jump right into it. Yes. Uh, glasses on. I don't need them. And <laughs> and I used to say crooked and dirty glasses and broken glasses before, but then I got new glasses, by the way. So Woo! new glasses alert. And let's just jump right into it. No further ado. Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. Begin. My name is Peter Parker. I was bitten by a radioactive spider. And for 10 years, I've been the one and only Spider-Man. Okay. I saved a bunch of the only thing standing between this city and oblivion is me. Hmm. There's only one Spider-Man. And you're looking at him. <laughs> Psych. I heard that the soundtrack for this film is impeccable. Like, say that. Mm -mm -mm. How's that new school? Oh, you miss me, Miles. You miss me? I still live here. Wait, you miss me? <laughs> so I'm guessing he's not in public school anymore. Yeah, he's not dressed like a public school kid right now. I'm only here because I won that stupid lottery. No way. You passed the entry test just like everybody else, okay? You have an opportunity here. You want to blow that, huh? You want to end up like your uncle? What's wrong with Uncle Aaron? He's a good guy. So he's on scholarship. I doesn't feel like I have a choice You don't. And it's ironic that he's like talking to him through the screen, you know? Yeah. Like a, like literally like a, L like a, prisoner. a prisoner. Yeah. That's a great. You gotta say I love you back. Oh my God. You wanna hear I love you, Dad. You're driving me off out of school. I love you, Dad. Look at this place. Dad, I love you. Oh my God. Dad, I love you. 
That's a copy. That's the best way to humiliate and destroy your kid's reputation in school. Never, never do that, by the way. If you're a parent, don't do that shit to your kids. Come on now. Everyone's gonna taunt him now. You're late again. Einstein said time is relative, right? Maybe I'm not late. Maybe you guys are early. <laughs> okay. <laughs> If a person wearing a blindfold picked the answers on a true or false quiz at random, do you know what score they would get? 30%. That's right. Oh. The only way to get all the answers wrong is to know which answers are right. Hmm. Damn. I'm assigning you a personal essay. Not about physics, but about you. That is true, and right? What kind of person you want to be. To get all the answers wrong, you would have to know all the right answers. That's a great metaphor for life. Oh. Okay. Nice. We got some Biggie Smalls. Yo, you been holding out on me? You throw these up yet? Nah, man. You, you know my dad. I can't. Come on. I got a spot you ain't gonna believe. I can't. I can't. I can't. Aww. He's like an artist. Yeah. Which which is kind of reminded me of like Basquiat. Yeah. That's what Basquiat would do. And Banksy. Yeah, Banksy like, too, yeah. Lottie's doing all these walls. <gasps> Ooh, radioactive spider. So music is a huge part of this, by the way. I think it's because music's so cultural. Yeah. Look at it. Oh, it's changing colors, you saw? Yeah. Oh, crap. Ooh, it's gonna go up his leg. Uh, I have a pho uh, phobia of just insects in general, dude. God, like, I'm, I'm starting to get... <laughs> look at me. I'm starting to get freaking itchy. Oh, oh my, my god, I gosh. can't. I don't like insects, guys. Oh, he knocked it off. Wow. Is it too crazy? That looks really cool. That's cool. You know what I'm saying. Interesting that it says no expectations because that's what he secretly wishes that he could live a life with like no expectations like from his father and stuff. Right, exactly that. <gasps> Ooh, my God. Look at oh, that's venom. cool. The animation work is incredible. It's incredible. Why am I so sweaty? Why are you so sweaty? It's a puberty thing. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. I'm not going through puberty. I'm a man. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I'm South African. Uh, no accent, though, because I was raised here. Do the shoulder touch now before she walks away. No, oh, that's going to be so <laughs> weird. Don't do it. Don't do it, Miles. <gasps> and he's going to stick to her, probably. Oh, you're right. I'm kidding. It's Wanda. No G. That's crazy. Hey. hey. <laughs> I'll see you around. Oh, see you. Will it stick? Oh, there it is. Oh, no. Oh. Total pleasure. Oh, my gosh. What a way to make a first impression, guys. Oh, my. I know you snuck out last night, Morales. Play dumb. Who's Morales? Not that dumb. Oh, because he lives on yeah. campus. Uh, so it's, it's like a campus high school? It's a preparatory school. It's high school though, right? Yeah. yeah. Keep sticking, mouse. Whoa. Ah, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh, that's so crazy. <laughs> oh my Offside god. Suggesting is that we will hang in there poster on the wall he's on yeah that's funny he's having the messiest like adjustment phase of all the spider-man uh the the first edition of spider-man right is happening i think yeah yeah that's the first edition spider-man like boring how normal this spider is holy shit that's a little key of jump scare right there, right? Yeah, I just cursed too. Oh, wow. Radioactive, yeah. Figures. 
Spider-Man? I cannot let you open a portal to another dimension. Brooklyn is not zoned for that. Oh, shoot. Is that Green Goblin? Why won't you? Damn, that's Green Goblin in this? I think I'm gonna go. What? Wow, you saw the effects. Boom, pow, boom, pow. That's incredible, man. It's like we're watching a comic book come to life. A live comic book, yeah. I love that. Woo! If you, if you stick around, I can show you the ropes. Yeah. I just need a... Destroy this big machine real quick. That's the particle collider, CERN. That people say in real life is actually responsible for opening portals in real life even. Yeah. Some people believe it to be capable of doing that. Uh, I always get this wrong. Oh boy. Oh my god. Oh shoot. I, I don't know who this is. Is that all you got? Does it start with a T or a P? Oh shoot, this is this is Kingpin. Oh you're right. You're it right. is He looks so funny in this. It's a hell of a freaking light show, you're gonna love this. From from Fisk, right? Yeah, yeah, Fisk. Because I battled him in the games, that's so crazy. Oh my gosh. Ooh, Come on, learn. I'm getting anxiety for them. Oh my gosh. Whoa. What just happened? This override key is the only way to stop the collider. Swing up there, use this key, push the button and blow it up. You need to hide your face. You don't tell anyone who you are. Oh, shoot. I know what you're trying to do. And it won't work. They're gone. I was afraid of that happening. Look, he killed him. So that's going to be the mission. Mm -hmm. The hero known as Spider-Man has died. Damn. After injuries related to another powerful earthquake in Brooklyn. I just got full body chills, literally. Can't it happen to get fit? I'm <gasps> Stan Lee. We were friends, you know. Can I return it if it doesn't fit? It always fits. Wow, dude. Oh my god. I'm literally tearing up because Stan Lee died. Me too. Oh my god. We are all Spider-Man. That's Mary Jane. We're all yeah. counting on you. They're counting on me. Hi. Probably not you specifically. <laughs> I, I think it's a metaphor. Aww. <laughs> uh -huh. There it is him though. Alright, I cried 30, se 30 something minutes in. I teared too. So an ongoing thing with our channel is going to be how many times does Callie cry? I'll probably cry every movie. Yeah. So. Oh. Oh no, because of his laces. Yeah. Ooh. Your shoes are untied. He broke his phone. Oh. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> Why carry it around with you all the time, though? That's what I never understand when, like, movies do this. And, like, like, why carry it with you all the time? Oh, no. It's broken. Now what? I want to do what you asked. I'm sorry. Oh. I'm not sure I'm the guy. Oh, my God. Is that the freaking villain? Without you. <gasps> hey, kid. He shot a web. Look! My name is Peter B. Parker. 
I was bitten by a radioactive spider, and for the last 22 years, I thought I was the one and only Spider-Man. Is this supposed to be like Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man? I don't know. I buried Aunt May. My wife and I split up. Oh, but I no. handled it like a champ. Because <laughs> you know what? No matter how many times I get hit, I always get back up. <laughs> Everybody lays down like that, like, like once in your life. <laughs> He's like, where did my pizza go? Yeah. <laughs> Coca soda, is huh? Yeah. From dusk till Sean. Sean <laughs> yeah. of the Dead reference. Who are you? What are you doing over there? Free PDNY. Is it his dad? Maybe. Put him up, son. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh, how do you? Oh, he's alive. Oh. Ooh, I thought they were going to break his tombstone. Anything that Spider-Man sticks to is getting into a lot of pain. Yeah, true, true. That's another great thing. Yeah, <laughs> everything he touches turns to poo poo. <laughs> I'm like here thinking every cop is his dad. Look, Red X. Because I am Peter Parker. Then why aren't you dead? And why is your hair different? Why are you old? And why is your body a, a different shape? <laughs> <laughs> Peter, seriously. Trust me, kid. This will all make you a better Spider-Man. Oh, no. Uh, he's, like, glitching. Kingpin's trying to kill me. Who cares about that? Where's the collider? Brooklyn, under Fist Tower. Goodbye. Where are you going? When it runs again, I'll just jump in and get well, back to my life. Let them run it. I'm supposed to destroy it so it never runs again. Oh. Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Look at all these scientists' bodyguards. That's funny. Look how large he is. Yeah, his character design is is hilarious. It's just this huge body with like a little fat head. <laughs> I just can't really understand it, but these are really good numbers. Oh, she uses yoga balls. You've got 24 hours. What this means is there could be a rupture in the space-time continuum. Ooh, that's bad. Actually, everything she said was bad. I was lying before. <laughs> He kind of reminds me of um, Deadpool a little bit. Yeah, exactly. Like, even the cut scene when it was showing him, like, sad and stuff, it yeah. reminded me a lot of, like, Deadpool for sure. Really does. We don't have time. Just just let go. Be in the moment. I am in the moment. It's a terrible moment. I'm not refusing. No more excuses. How, how can he see it from his peripheral vision? What do you do to relax? Needless to say, I, uh, uh. Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> oh, so that's how they're going to tie in music to everything. Yeah. That's why music is so, it's such a pivotal part. Can Spider-Man turn invisible? Not in my universe. <laughs> you just poked me in my eye. This is incredible. Some kind of fight or flight thing. What's that? <laughs> okay, that's my face. <laughs> An entirely different Peter Parker. Okay, a little bit of a gut. Perhaps from dimensional warping. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Definitely the way. Mm -hmm. What was the rest? Hey, how old are you? Because you don't look a day over 35. <laughs> wow. And obviously you've been glitching. Glitching? No. Why would you even say that? If you stay in this dimension too long, your body's going to disintegrate. <gasps> and I, for one, can't wait to watch. Oh, she's evil. Don't figure she's evil. Dr. Olivia Octavius. Oh my god. <gasps> She's Dr. Octopus. My enemies call me Doc Ock. Oh my god. That was crazy. I, w I wasn't expecting that at all. Me neither. At all. So many villains in this movie. And it's funny because he said that he had to reassess his biases. Yeah. So he wasn't even expecting. Oh, oh she works there too? You can tell me you had an invisible friend. Could you give me that back, young man? Oh no, oh no! 
Damn, the Jordans are staying intact. Right? The whole time. Wow, this would be a good time to turn invisible. Yep. Okay, not gonna turn invisible. Selecting a bagel. <laughs> Act super normal. <laughs> you know, that's funny. I get that a lot. Hey. Oh my god. Whoa, they all hate Spider Man. <laughs> hey, that's kind of true. Uh -oh. She's horrifying. And it's cool how each villain has their own song, you know? <gasps> Success! And he only has one of those things. Which is very similar to Tom Holland's Spider-Man. Because it only comes out of Toby's skin, you know? Mm. Look at them bonding and learning, wow. I think this is interesting because he didn't want a kid, but he's kind of having a kid right now, you know? True. Oh no. Who's this? <gasps> Another Spider-Man? Oh shit! I know who this is. Is this a girl? This is supposed to. Be, this is supposed to be Gwen Stacy, I think. She becomes Spider-Man. Yeah, from the comics, hey, I guys. think. Oh shit! I was bitten by a radioactive spider, and for the last two years, I've been the one and only Spider Woman. Wow. I joined a band. Save my dad. She's from Andrew Garfield's universe. Yeah. My spider sons told me to head to Visions Academy. Oh shit. I like your haircut. You don't get to like my haircut. Let's go. How many more spider people are there? I save it for Comic Con. What's Comic So she was a spider all along? Yeah. Hmm. Interesting, huh? Oh no. Oh. They're gonna crash. Damn, dude. It's his fault, but of course he's gonna blame someone else. He's gonna blame Spider Man. Yeah. All we have to do is kill a couple of spiders, and the collider will bring your family back. As many families as you want. Oh, I see what's going on here. She's manipulating him because he has the money. Yeah. We should, we should probably go. Peter, we're literally on the doorstep. Somewhere in Queens. Yeah. Uncle Ben's house. Not me. I'm not ready for this. And she died in his universe. I recognized the little house and then when it said Queens, which is... I am so sorry. In what dimension are you from? Brooklyn. <laughs> It's like the bat cave. Literally, it's the spider cave. It's the spider web. Oh, <laughs> get <but> it. <laughs> Whoa. futon. I feel sad for this guy. <laughs> Look, and one of them has a cape, you saw? Yeah. Those are all the different Spider-Man suits. Interesting. You might need these. Think you're the only people who thought to come here? Oh shoot! Hey fellas! Oh, that's Spider. Black and white. That's that wind coming from. We're in a basement. That's Noir. Yeah. What? You're like me. <laughs> no, you guys are like. My name is Peter Parker. Penny Parker. My name is Peter Parker. I'm Peter Parker. Radioactive pig. And we're best friends forever. Sometimes I let matches burn down to my fingertips just to feel something, anything. He's like the Batman. Yeah. You guys don't get it. 
Don't get what? <laughs> oh, shoot. I'm the guy who's gonna turn it off. And I'm gonna get you all home before I do. Look, I made a promise. So, I have to keep it. Because if they stay too long, their bodies will disintegrate too. <laughs> he's got potential. I think he's gonna get us home. Hmm. Can you help your aunt create an online dating profile so she can get out of the dang house once in a while? Can you float through the air when you smell a delicious pie? It's literally Looney Tunes. When you think you can, you can go. Oh no, he's gonna explode. But if he can't do this, we have to stay and do it for him. He's looking right at us while we talk about him. <laughs> he has a soft spot for you, and and we haven't heard from him. And you know I wouldn't reach out if this wasn't important. Hmm. Hope you're good. Damn, probably never talked to him in like long long time yeah i'm scared man i'm just tired of letting everybody down yeah like i figured you're the only one i can talk to just wish you were here oh no not that villain person please no not the purple one. <laughs> oh there's the little song oh my god stalking him this one's probably the most terrifying. This is like the alien predator thing, you know? Yeah. The vision? Crazy. If he can get away. Oh my god, that scared me. That I think he's me. invisible. He is. Oh, that scared me, guys. Yeah. Oh, my heart just jumped out of my chest. I've got the security tapes from the tunnel right here. The kids out there. I'll find them. <gasps> I don't ever quit. What the? Oh my. What? I wasn't expecting that. That's. Wow. That just adds a whole layer of complication on top of everything. That's why he told him that he would be out of town. Because he's working on this mission. Oh. Oh my gosh, doesn't he notice that that's his freaking nephew? So that really highlights the differences between the uncle and the dad. Mm -hmm. It's way more than what he let on. Right. Where they're, they're just in two separate worlds. Yeah. This is purple. Now. Blue. Now. Has anyone heard from Miles? Oh, he sees in black and white. <laughs> Aww. That's funny. I bet you he's gonna come back through that door, recharged, and ready to fight. My uncle. Hey, where have you been? My have uncle you Aaron, he's, he's, he's the prowler. He's he's the prowler. The prowler. That's what it's called. Mm. I knew it was with a T or a P. <laughs> Suit up. Oh. Get out of here, kid. <laughs> you messed up big time, kid. Very <laughs> sloppy. What just does that? Scorpion. <gasps> oh, shoot. It's an anito dale. Proporo te a morir. Prepare te a morir. Damn, this is like some anime right here. Yeah. The animation is just something I've never seen in my entire life. I've never seen anything like this. Yeah. Ever. You gotta go, man. But maybe if he saw his face, he would stop, you know? Yeah, but then everybody would know who he is because they use family as a... as, like, leverage, you know? Oh no, 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 no. He's gonna pretend. He's gonna pretend. 
<gasps> what happened? They sh they killed him? Of course, just like Uncle Ben dies. Dude, what's up with all these plot twists? Oh my god. Look, chill, look. Freaking ra the hairs are raising on my skin. If oh you guys could gosh. see the goosebumps I have. I don't want him to die. I'll let you down, man. I'll let you down. Just keep going. Oh man, he's probably gonna swing away before his dad can see him. Hands up! Put your arms up now! Hey! Hey! Oh, he's gonna hate Spider-Man even more. I want an APBE on a new Spider-Man. It's expected. Like it was my fault. You wouldn't understand. Miles, we're probably the only ones who do understand. It's true. <laughs> Look at his roommate, dude. Power, power. This guy's a legend. Low-key a legend. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's gonna look up. <gasps> Do animals talk in this dimension? Because I don't want to freak him out. His roommate will probably become his best friend, maybe. <laughs> I haven't heard him talk yet. Yeah. I gotta make Kingpin pay. You have to let me make him pay. Miles, you're gonna get yourself killed. But I'm ready. I promise. Oh. He's gonna knock him out. But you don't have it yet. When will I know I'm ready? That's all it is, Miles. A leap of faith. He's gonna... He's gonna figure out a way. This has so many deep life, like, lessons. Yeah. I see this, this spark in you. It's, it's amazing. It's why I push you, but... Whatever you choose to do with it, you'll be great. I love you. You don't have to say it back, though. No. Oh. You're crying, too. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's crazy. Jeez, man. How? How? Like it's. Ah, oh, it's crazy. Yeah, I'm trying not to cry to ruin, ruin my makeup and stuff. Ah, <laughs> oh, that got me for yeah, sure. Yeah, me too. I'm trying not to ruin my makeup, guys. <laughs> <laughs> he has allergies. <laughs> yeah, someone's cutting onions right now in this room behind the scenes. That's why I apologize. <laughs> Bad dream. Yeah, I don't think his his roommate becomes his best friend. Cause because he hasn't said a word. He needs a best friend. Every Spider-Man. Well, not every Spider-Man. Mom always asking where did I go wrong? <laughs> oh, she was expecting him to come. When do I know I'm Spider-Man? Oh, his costume. Yeah, yeah, he he got the suit and then made it him like made it his own, you know? Yeah. It's not trying to fit into expectations, which also ties into expectations, right? <laughs> Oh no. Are you okay? Ma'am, we'll take care of that bread right now. Been nice uh, talking to you. you. They should fill this place up with fresh bread. Uh, you all right, man? Oh, yeah. But she's the only Spider Gwen. Mm -hmm. And he's the only noir. They have to see that. Right. That's what <laughs> I thought too, you know? Oh no. 
Oh no. Oh, so close. What type of guns are these? Are these like laser Star Wars guns? It's not like real bullets, you know? Yeah. Three, two. Oh, what's going on? Invisible Spider-Man. Oh, it is. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. I thought it was just malfunctioning. I knew right away because of that. Like, that's his power, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Do I want kids? He said. See? Looks like our dimensions are coming to us. Does look cool though, right? Yeah. It's probably not a good thing. Look, uh, dolphin. You saw a dolphin? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was so cool. And he threw his car at him, you saw? Mm -hmm. It's like an old school car. He was like, Psh. Yeah, from the 30s. You kind of silly cartoon. You got a problem with cartoons? Wow, look at Spider Pig, dude. Yeah, that's Peter Porker. Oh, I'm sorry. Peter Porker. Oh, did that feel like a cartoon? <laughs> I love Peter Porker. Oh, or it's no. Peter Porker or Peter Porker? Peter Porker. Not the robot. Her best friend. You can't save everyone. Oh, this is from Andrew Garfield. This is like the Andrew Garfield scene where Gwen falls and then he actually saved her this time. Interesting. Very interesting. Very well done. All right, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his reaction. <laughs> oh. I'm the one with the goop. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Don't wash the mouth. Wash the hands. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the student becomes the professor. taught him that right i didn't teach him that and you definitely didn't i was about to say that he learned super quickly <laughs> yeah became a badass dude. his dad's uh pr pride in him yeah just sparked it all up his dad's approval well yeah his dad's belief in him yeah that's pretty deep too oh. i uh love you all i'm taking this cube thing with me I don't understand it. He sounds like Nicolas Cage, right? Yeah, a little bit. I want you to have this. It'll fit in your pocket. It'll fit in your pocket. Oh, folks. That's all, folks. Can we just say that legally? Can we just say that legally? See, it's Looney too. Because <laughs> they just randomly pull stuff out of their pockets, you know? You know I'm older than you. 15 months, but it's pretty significant if you ask me. Einstein said time was relative, right? Nice. Time is relative. <laughs> friends? Oh, friends, come friends. on. Friends! What about the shoulder touch? See you around, Spider-Man. She'll be back. I want more than friends. They always come back. Push the green button! Do not wait for me! I can't let Spider-Man die! Neither can I. Yeah, it is okay. Oh shoot. You gotta go home, man. How do I know I'm not gonna mess it up again? And you won't. Need to leave the faith. Full circle. Damn. He's dude. gonna oh. Again. oh I thought he was gonna trick him out in like web, you know? Oh man, this is oh, no. not so easy going on your own, is it? I can't wait to kill one more Spider-Man. Oh, they're they're traveling in between the Oh, that's his wife and kids. Leaving now. Oh no. Ah. 
Oh my gosh. Ooh. Everything's like crumbling, literally. Mm hmm Where's the ground? <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's a ground anymore. No. no. Ever hear of the shoulder touch? What? Hey. His uncle's trick. Wow. Wow, look at that. Oh, so it was contained inside of the yeah. space. Mm -hmm. Oh, careful. His dad. <laughs> I hope his dad is okay. That's all I could say. I mean, yeah, there's been so many deaths. Like, I don't think I could take another one. Yeah, I can't take his dad dying. <sighs> God, thank, thank God. Well, his opinions on Spider-Man must have changed. I hope so. <laughs> He's like, hey, Spider-Man saved the day. Yeah. That big guy. Guess I was wrong about Spider Man. Down there, that was. I, I mean, I owe you. Okay. <clears throat> I look forward to working with you. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to have to agree to disagree. Thank you for your bravery tonight. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Damn, just gave him on a silver platter. Look, it's his graffiti. Yeah. Style. Yeah, I'm the new Spider Man. Check it out. <laughs> that was part of the move. <laughs> Everybody's like, oh. <laughs> Met my roommate finally. See? Best buds. Okay. You could wear the mask if you didn't know that before. I hope you do now. Ah, yeah. So I'm Spider Man. And I'm not the only one. Not by a long shot. Post credit scene. In Nueva York. <laughs> Nueva York. You always have to call me out. It's just really frustrating and bums me Don't out. Don't get too excited, Miguel. It's just a prototype. Miguel. But you could be the first person to make an autonomous multiverse jump. <gasps> Let's start at the beginning one last time. Earth 67. No way. <laughs> I need you to come with Who me. Who the heck are you? I, I just oh told my. you. Listen, listen, I'm from the future. How dare you point at me? You <laughs> <laughs> Which one pointed first? Spider Man pointed first. Obviously. You're pointing at me right now as you say that. Look at you. Oh my God. God, you're accusing me of pointing you while you're. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. That was amazing. Yeah. That was amazing. Um, jeez, dude, I don't even know. I don't even know where to begin. Um, mind blown. Yeah, that was one of the best movies I've ever watched. That was incredible. And, and and again, because it's animated, you have, you know, preconceived notions and and expectations of it being like, oh, like it's going to be more like family friendly. It's going to be this. It's going to be kind of like very PG-13 and very just geared towards kids. Yeah. But this was incredibly deep. Yeah. So many lessons. So, so many life lessons in this. Um Starting with the idea of like having self-belief and and developing the belief in yourself um your self-esteem the perception that you have of yourself and all 
all these things about the self, right, that everybody struggles with, especially if you're a developing teen, especially if you're a coming of age, you know, teenager. Um, but it applies to everyone because a lot of people go through life, um, you know, having doubts of, of, of different things and, and, and having doubts in different sectors of their existence. And, but we just always have to take that leap, you know? Yeah. And take just, the leap. And just learn as we go. Um, I wanted to point out a few things. One thing that I noticed was that how you said each villain had like a different sound and, and it just so happened that the uncle's sound was very similar to that of a siren and his father is a cop. And so I literally saw it as it, as if it were like split down the middle, but just like literally on like opposing sides, but one and the same wow that that's a great point i don't know but the like you know the what like yeah, it sounded like a siren kind like of thing siren. i don't know I, not a police siren per se but like a siren i couldn't put my finger on what it reminded me of and i don't know if you noticed but when he died they remixed the sound into a more like uplifting heroic song yeah so it contained the sound itself but it was like slightly distorted so mm. that it would fit that moment which was more emotional and I I wanted to also say that um, what what like touched me the most was mm. definitely like the the dad and son relationship slash aspect of the whole movie, like even with Peter Parker, Peter B. Parker, who mm. didn't initially want to have kids had a change of heart and i found that to be yeah. like really nice too because and and maybe that's something that we'll see because we did kind of see it in the trailer mm -hmm. you know that there is like a, a baby like maybe that's his baby right it ends up being i don't know mm -hmm. um that would be really nice if yeah. it came like full circle like that mm -hmm. um but what else and then obviously uh miles morales's relationship with his dad and how everything came full circle with the i love you moment mm -hmm. where it started with him like telling him to say it back and then at the end you know he's the one that says it and his dad is the one that's embarrassed yeah he's the one that says it yeah and also like how his dad behind the door said i love you and you don't have to say it back mm -hmm. you know just that like flip in the relationship and i feel like that always happens when there's like a serious dramatic family event yeah. where there's like a change of heart and you kind of just do like some self-reflecting and you kind of you know yeah yeah just re <laughs> rethink the way that you've been uh thinking things yeah. i guess i don't know and and speaking of full circle moments um it ended with him putting on his headphones and just losing himself in the music you know and it started with him being lost in the music but like i just love that because music is such a uh important and just a crucial part of who he is as a person and it's a part of his personality and it's where he maybe derives meaning right because people often use music especially our culture and our society in the west like we we um get a lot of elements of our identity through pop culture yeah and that's why there were so many pop culture references there were so many signs in times square and just um parodies of popular films in our current society but it's all alluding to this idea that yeah like it, 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 it's like we are all capable of being spider-man because we're all ca like exposed to the same external inputs kind of like it's not always the same obviously some people lose uh loved ones some people go through other other difficulties some people are getting divorced other people lose that lose their fathers so it's like but in the end it's the hardship that equalizes and normalizes all of us as people yeah and i just found yeah go 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 no go oh. and you just found what go yeah and, and to me like I found it especially like emotional because I grew up without a dad. Yeah. And I can't, oh, I just can't do it. I thought I was going to be able to do it without breaking down, but I'm not going to be able to do it. But yeah, go, 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 go uh, talk and like fill in the dead air. Cause I already I, started to hear, I, I thought I was going to be able to like do it objectively and just like block out that part, but I can't. Yeah. But um that that definitely is what hit me when the dad yeah. was talking to his son is like 
the the idea of like wanting to make your parents proud and then how sometimes like we we as children like for whatever reason we kind of like block our parents out yeah and shut them out of our lives and just you know mm -hmm. like have ourselves in a bubble and i <sighs> felt like those words that he was saying to his son that it didn't matter it and when he said like you didn't have to say it back i didn't think of it as just words like i thought of it as like it's i love you yeah i love you and even though you're not really showing me that back because you're ignoring me or like all these other things yeah like just know that i do anyways like that that was that was the definition of like unconditional love you unconditional know love, yeah. yeah true um but well, what did i want to say just now that you were talking about ah i just forgot but i just find it also important to notice that it's very important for you to have a support system right because i think that that's another uh main message that this film tried to like show is that it, it it doesn't matter if it's not like necessarily blood but you have to have a solid support system of people who you can relate to um and that's why he has his squad of spider people he had his uncle at the very beginning of the film um, but you always need someone who you can bounce ideas off and just talk and communicate and express yourself because going about life alone is the worst thing that you could do. And it also helps if you have like a solid family base too, you know, like people who you can look to and rely on. And he found a second family, which is, yeah, which, which, which are the spider people. And, and I want to. I just remembered what I wanted to point out about the music was that in the beginning he was lost in the music and his life was so disorganized that he wasn't even packed for school. You know, he was trying to fit into this new place and mm -hmm. whatever. And then at the end when he's putting on the headphones, like sure his life still is, you know, out of whack now becoming a Spider-Man. But in a, in a weird way, it feels like more in control than it did when he was just a kid right. like just a kid yeah, going yeah. to school and and you feel that when he's like putting on his headphones like it's a different it's a different loss in the music where mm -hmm. you know i don't know yeah because maybe that's where he sources his sense of confidence yeah you know because he said that he's the most um calm and relaxed when he's listening to music and i think that people live vicariously through a bunch of different things so like people live vicariously through masks and through alter egos personas music sounds and I think that that's what Spider-Man represents is that once you put on that mask or every superhero basically represents is that once you take on that persona and adopt that alter ego, then you have no choice but to do your job. Yeah. Right. So it just becomes a, a world of zero excuse. Like there's no excuse. It's literally life, life or death. And, and I feel like in that there's a very deep message that everybody can begin applying to their lives like immediately in all aspects is that if you treat everything as a li like life or death scenario, then you'll kind of condition yourself to give it your all, mm -hmm. you know, and then live in the moment, but, uh, but apply yourself and just give it everything you have, you know, like just, just give it your all Take basically. Take the leap. Take the leap in every aspect of your life and prioritize things that are important to you and also, you know, have a solid support system if you're fortunate enough to have that. Yeah. Yeah. And not neglecting, you know, mm -hmm. uh, people because because ironically, like he, him not having that relationship with his dad in the beginning where his dad was like, oh, and look at this place. And then he's like, uh huh. Like, yeah, like. It it's such an uh, it was such a great shift at the end mm -hmm. where he initiated a hug and everything you know, mm -hmm. um, it's just like, it's just a reminder to not take those things for granted if yeah. you have it yeah. you know, mm -hmm. but yeah, yeah. Um, we will be maybe doing like a full review. Yeah. Or this is already a full review, but, um, if we have anything else to say, we will be discussing it on our daily podcast. Yeah. Like a psychological in-depth breakdown speak discussion about it where maybe Callie opens up more. About yeah. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. maybe. <laughs>
It, it's just a hard uh, topic for me, but yeah. Yeah, but oh wow, I really, I really, really liked it. <clears throat> like I swear, yeah. this was one of the best movies I've ever seen. And like, like every movie moving forward that we react to on this channel, just know that I am a person who has to live with like stuff. Like every time I consume and assimilate an art, a piece of art, it takes me time to like really sit with it and really let it kind of. Uh, you know tug at my inner wiring or really or whatever you want to really call it like I can't connect it. like yeah establish those connections but it but it's over time yeah so i might have like a a different perspective or a newfound perspective on this film you know a week from now and right. i might have like a new eureka moment where i'm like holy shit like they i just noticed that they did this and this so that's why if you guys want to listen to more of what we have to say, um, if you're interested in this like back and forth dialogue, we do Mentally Gone daily episodes uh, on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, uh, everywhere that podcasts are available. It's audio only. Uh, so if you guys want to check that out. But yeah, I feel I feel inspired to replay Miles Morales, honestly. Yeah. Just like swing through New York and just you know just like play around and i'm going to make a strong statement and say that this was the best marvel movie i've ever watched and i don't even think it's marvel directly marvel it's well, yeah. a sony movie well marvel marvel yeah. marvel. marvel come on it now. is yeah. it had the marvel comic right thing true, in the true, 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 true. marvel i didn't say disney marvel i said marvel i think it's in association with marvel i think with it said marvel. at the beginning yeah so yes. marvel best right, marvel movie I've ever watched. Yeah. It made me think about Stan Lee and and I feel like this was the perfect um Send off. homage yeah. to Stan Lee and the other creator. I forget his name. That's horrible that I don't yeah. know his name, but I think everybody forgets his name. But obviously there there were two creators that worked on Spider Man and yeah. so the hom this was for me, like it seemed like a homage to them both who both passed away in 2018. That's crazy. Yeah. Same year? Yeah. Wow. And also, I think it's worth noting that Spider-Man is the most popular superhero I think ever created. And, and he's the brainchild of these two people. And I think that that's like, you know, purposeful. Yeah. Because he is literally your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Like he is probably the most relatable right. of all marvel characters i agree you know in the movies and stuff mm -hmm. because even the way that he gains his powers comes from like things that people usually see or have seen before you know it's not like superman who comes from a different planet yeah. it's like you can't really establish connections it's not like batman who was an orphan not everybody is an orphan not everybody loses both their parents and so the the character arc and the origin story can be applied to literally any like any person on the planet yeah. can can be Spider-Man. It's not like Iron Man who was like a, a mad genius and like Bill, yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> like that's pretty crazy. And also super wealthy. You yeah. Know, like comes from generational wealth yeah. with his father, you know. Not everybody is that, but that's that's the beauty of Spider-Man and I love that we saw like a pig could be Spider-Man, you yeah. know, like See. It's just that is what Spider-Man embodies. It's like this the the limitless possibilities. Yep. And that's all. And we'll close say, it out yeah. with that. Yeah, I think it's a perfect place to close it out. Uh thank you again guys for watching this yes. uh recap for uh well not re yeah, this this end of film <laughs> post film recap. Uh, thank you for watching the entire walkthrough. Uh walkthrough. I keep saying walkthrough because we also have a gaming <laughs> walkthrough through. channel. Yeah, a watch through. Uh that's the first one of the channel. Uh if you guys like this, if you guys enjoy this, uh the best way that you can let us know is by leaving a like, by subscribing, by sharing this with your friends. It helps the channel grow. It helps us as creators. All we want to do is just enjoy life. <clears throat> enjoy life. Enjoy life. Uh, I'm, I'm going through puberty. <laughs> see, like I'll start sticking to fucking <laughs> to, 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 like walls and stuff. Um, but we all we want to do is just, just enjoy life um and share experiences and experience things yeah. together you know so if you guys want to join us you're more than welcome and with that being said don't forget that it's never wrong to be mentally gone peace, peace to, to the, the world, world.